Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be talking about the Curve card. Why I love it so much and if it's still worth to get it after the recent updates they've done to the card. I've been using Curve for quite a while now so I can really give you my honest feedback on it. At first I wasn't quite sure what it is and how it works but now after using it for quite a while I can really share my passion about this card with you. Now this video is not sponsored so I can share with you my honest feedback but if you do want to sign up then I really appreciate if you would use my link in the description below. It helps out the channel a lot. Right so the first point why I really love Curve is basically it gets rid of all my other cards. I used to have a big wallet with five, six, seven cards in there and used to get so bulky. Now with Curve, I actually only use one card and technically I don't even use my card because instead I use it with my Apple Pay. But you can also use it with your Google Pay or Samsung Pay. So the amazing part that really simplifies your life, your digital life and your financial life that you can basically load up all your various cards as you can see over here into one card. So you only have to have and carry one card with you and then with the click of a button you can immediately change between all the different cards. So here you can see the cards I'm using, my Nexo card of course to get my 2% cashbacks on every transaction. There's my main card I use, then I have my Revolut card in case I want to use it or still my Crypto.com which I use occasionally as well. So if I wanted to use that for a particular transaction all I have to do is literally click on this, it takes a second and now if I use my Apple Pay I will pay with my Crypto.com card through Curve card and that's so incredibly convenient because I could add up another five, six, seven cards. I could even add my business cards into here and I would only have to carry all my physical card or my Apple Pay and that makes things so, so much easier. Trust me, once you get a hang of it, you never want to go back. Now the second point is even more amazing because I always had these issues that when I found a new credit card or debit card, you know, from Crypto.com or any other cards, I got excited, I signed up and I wanted to use those benefits. Usually I sign up for cards because they offer me more perks or benefits. But then what I had to do is go back into every single website and update those cards. That means I had to go to Netflix, to Formula One, to all my subscriptions. And I think I have over 15 subscriptions to go there, update all those cards so that in the future they'll be using the new card number rather than the old card number. So with Curve, that's the thing of the past because now basically I have one single card number and I'm gonna use that for everything. So even if in the future there comes a better card that I wanna jump on, a new crypto exchange comes up with a better card, what have you, I basically add it to my curve, activate that card, and I'm gonna be using that card for future transactions. So I don't have to go back to Netflix and all the different platforms to update my numbers constantly. And honestly, it sounds like a small thing, but over time it really adds up. And this way you can very seamlessly move around which card to use without ever having to go back and update all the time. And I think we've all been there. So now having used it for a while, I can tell you it really is a time saver and makes things so much more seamless. The third point, and what I really enjoyed about this card, is the ability of transforming cards that are not compatible with Apple Pay and Google Pay, and yes, even 2022, there's still too many cards out there. It basically makes them smart cards and compatible with Apple Pay. I had, for example, a Miles and More card. It was a debit card for airline miles, so whenever I pay with it, I would get airline miles, but that I had to use the physical card. And as you might know, I really don't like carrying physical cards with me. So by adding it to Curve, I could easily use it with my Apple Pay card and didn't have to carry it physically with me. Same was true for Crypto.com when I used it more. It's still not compatible with Apple Pay in Europe, for example. So by using it through Curve, you can easily add it to your Apple Pay and it makes things so much more easy. And you can even pay with your Apple Watch because you can basically connect your Curve card to Apple Pay on your watch and you can tap with your wrist and pay anywhere, any place, and that's just magical. If, of course, after the recent market crash, you still have any money left in your bank account. Another point I really love about this card is the ability to track my expenses across different cards. In general, a lot of the crypto cards I had, they really have bad analytic functions. It's somewhere hidden deep inside the menus, and it doesn't really make it very transparent to see how much I spent in a month or even three months ago. It's hard for me to go back, especially once you start using different cards, to have a total picture of how much you actually spent that month. It's really, really difficult because you would have to open all these different apps, log in there, get the account, write it down, add it up. And that can be really tedious and sometimes overwhelming. So with Curve, you have all your spendings per card, but then also summarized. So here, for example, very simple, I can go into my app and uh, have under my money all the very spendings I had for that month. So you can see here uh, whatever you spend. And then I could also quickly filter it if I wanted to click on this item over here. And then you can filter by amount, um, by categories, by currency, whatever you want to have, business expense or not. You can even select which card. So you have all the various cards. So if you want to see just by an individual card, but for me, I'd like to see all the spendings 
for that month. It just gives me a good overview and what it is. And then it automatically categorizes it, which I really like. You can see eating out, shopping, whatever it is. You can also change those categories. Then you can click on insights and here you can see sort of where you spend your most money on and the top card that you use. So really gives you much better insights and I can see the sort of big picture of what's happening with my money in a particular month across all the various different cards. And the more cards you start using, the more valuable this information will be. So I really, really enjoy that. Another amazing feature that I just started using recently is going back in time. So at first I was a little bit confused what it means, but essentially it's a feature that allows you to go back in time as the name says. So let's imagine you made a big transaction a week ago that you wanted to do with another card. Happened to me, right? Actually, in my case, I went on holiday with friends and for that I love to use Revolut because it's very simple to track and with a click of a button you can share the dinner bill for example. So you go for dinner with a big group and then you can easily click and share with all the people because everyone was using Revolut and that made things so much easier. So it was a big dinner bill and it was a couple of hundred euros so then I shared with everybody and then in the end I still had around 150, 200 euros left to myself so I paid it with Revolut. So now realizing that I paid with Revolut I said oh I rather would have paid with my next card because I would have gotten 2%, let's say on 200 euros, there would have been four euros I would have gotten in cash back. So, you know, it's a small amount, but the bigger amounts get, that will start adding up. So I wanted to get that cash back, but you know, I missed my chance. I paid already with Revolut. And here's the magic of Curve Card, and I can show you how easily that works. So basically all you have to do is once again, open the card, and then you go into my money. Let's pick up one of the expenses. I had a dinner in London recently, so I click on this. So basically I can click on go back in time, and then what will happen, I can simply swipe over and select, let's say my Revolut or my Crypto.com. Uh, in this case, obviously I used the Nexo, which I wanted to do, but I could easily click on Revolut and basically what will happen, it will basically change the card for that particular transaction. I mean, that's really, really magical. It takes a matter of seconds. Curve will basically at the background revert this transaction and instead charge the other card and you will even get cash back. So in my case, when I went on the holiday, I paid everything with Revolut. So afterwards I picked the biggest expenses. I mean, not a coffee, but you know, anything over 100 euros for example and made those changes from Revolut to Nexo and I got cash back within seconds on all those transactions through my Nexo card and that's really really amazing especially when I travel. Next point are the cashback rewards. Now as you know I really love cashback especially from my crypto cards where I get already 2% on all my Nexo card transactions. So using it with Curve I get 2% from Nexo plus 1% from my Curve card. So in total whenever I use my Curve card through Apple Pay I get 3% on every single transaction and that's just amazing. There's one note to mention though when you sign up the 1% cashback on every transaction only is applicable for the first 30 days. Afterwards, it will actually disappear unless you sign up to one of the paid plans and we'll get to this in a second. But there's a simple workaround. Basically, whenever you refer somebody else, actually you're gonna get a little bonus. Usually it's around five euros or dollars or pounds, wherever you're based. Plus, you're gonna get another month of 1% cashback on every single transaction. And that alone is worth so much, especially if you have a big expenditure month that 1% really starts adding up. So, you know, just invite your family members, your friends, and you can easily get 12. So that will cover you for an entire year of 1% cashback. And lastly, guys, it's free. And hey, who doesn't like a free card with all those features? But of course, they also have a paid version. For myself, I'm still using the free version because I do get the 1% cashback on every transaction for quite a while now, thanks to many of you who signed up using my link in the description below. And if you haven't yet, then really appreciate. If you do, it doesn't cost you anything and helps out myself and the channel a lot. A couple of days ago, actually, Curve came out with a few changes to their programs and additions that they made. As you can imagine, the entire market is tanking, so they also have to save certain costs somewhere. So it's only natural that some of those adjustments had been made. They have been cutting some of the benefits for the free version. So there used to be much more, uh, but now they've been cutting those down a little bit. And also they added the Curve X, which wasn't there before. Before it was only Curve Black and Curve Metal. So that's a nice addition for those who just want to uh, get their feet wet, so to say, and the sort of more light version with five years a month, which I think is quite reasonable. So let's go through what are some of the limitations. So your cards in one. So basically now you can only add two cards. I believe before it was unlimited, um, but for now you can only add two cards. But as I said, at the moment I'm still in the free version, yet I have three cards in my account. That's because it's not effective yet. It will only come into effect in 60 days from now. So we still have a few days, but then probably I also have to choose either remove one of the cards or eventually upgrade to a higher tier. Only for the free option you have to pay if you want a physical card. But as I said, you don't need the physical card if you plan to use it with your phone. So that's your choice. Anything about 
above that has free delivery, which is great. Works with all MasterCard and Visa card. One thing to mention is it doesn't work with American Express and uh, they had some differences in the past, so they don't work with each other. All the cards work with Apple Pay, Google Pay and Samsung Pay, so that's amazing. The app is available for all cards as well. Curved customer protection for up to 100,000 euros for all of them. It can be also in pounds, so it depends on where you're based. Uh, but I'm based in Euro countries, so that's why the amounts are Euro based. And the embarrassment mode is a nice little feature in case one of your cards is declined or doesn't work for whatever reason, it will automatically choose another card so that you don't have to wait there and look all embarrassed. Basically, that's applicable for all the cards. Go back in time, it's available for all of the cards, um, but again, you have a longer time horizon if you wanna go back up to four months even uh, for the metal card in case you wanna change one transaction, but even for the free one, it's up to 30 days, which is fantastic. Now, here's one point to consider for the foreign exchange rates and that's really limited for the free version only up to thousand euros and that's something actually as I travel quite a bit for me a little bit limiting and um, I was recently traveling quite a bit so I exceeded that thousand and then you're gonna start being charged a fee and I believe it's a small fee but it adds up and eventually it might actually be higher than your cashback so the question is is it still worth it so that's something for me to consider to even upgrade eventually to black or metal because then it's unlimited which really is quite interesting especially if you travel a lot if you spend mostly in your own home native currency then really there isn't much of a point or anything to worry about that fee free foreign atm withdrawals once again honestly i travel without ever taking cash out because most places these days really allow you to use your phone one point to mention when i travel i do take my card because some of the terminals for whatever reason are not updated so they don't take the apple pay but they will take your card but nonetheless you can still take quite a bit of money out there fee free which is great smart rules is also great you can actually program the card to use certain cards or certain transactions so you want to pay all your travels with the Nexo card, you can choose that and you can pay all your groceries with the Revolut card or any other card you have. So you can automatically choose your cards depending on which category you assign it to. If you wanna use it also with your business card, which might make sense if you have a lot of uh, personal cards and business cards, you can obviously separate it within the app, um, but you can only add those at the paid level. And as I mentioned, the cashback is only available for the first 30 days or if you then extend it through referrals. Otherwise, you can only have three selected retailers or six selected retailers for the metal card. And you know, there's a list where you can choose from, but that includes some of the biggest retailers out there like Amazon, Booking.com, etc. So you should select the ones that you spend the most money on every single month, and then you're gonna get your 1% cashback unlimited without having to make any referral. And a few more perks here and there, an actual metal card, uh, you know, discounted air lounge access. If like crypto.com, they would include free air lounge access, I would definitely go for metal, but for now, now it's only discounted, but the discount for me is quite little. I think it's around 30% off, which is still like 20 pounds or euros around. So yes, it's a discount, but it doesn't sound as attractive as free air launch access. So honestly, guys, if you haven't used Curve Card yet, then what are you waiting for? Get on it because there's nothing to lose. It's free. It's amazing. Once you start using it, you never want to go back. The more I use it, the more I love it. It makes my life so much easier. Having all cards into one, having the analytics, knowing what I'm spending on, on different cards. And as I plan to add more cards in the future, it will have more and more benefits. I will most likely upgrade in the future to black or metal because I do travel quite a lot. So having that unlimited foreign exchange limit for me is quite attractive, but you can easily start with a free card as I've been using it for quite a number of months now and I absolutely loved it. If you want to sign up to it, then please use the link in the description. I really appreciate that. If you want to learn how to do my monthly budgeting, tracking my income, expenses and investments, then check out the video over here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. Stay healthy, get wealthy and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.